Part 2 Engineering Assessment for the Flood Protection of Company Premises. Flood Protection Secrets, the podcast to the protection against heavy rain and flooding by Dr. Flood, Andreas Klippe. So the big challenge is how can house owners like you and me get a flood-free home? How can business managers like you and me get a flood-free company? And how can public servants provide flood-free critical infrastructure and livable cities? Flood Protection Secrets, the podcast by Dr. Flood, Andreas Klippe. This podcast is for foresighted and proactive people who do not want to shovel the muddy water out of their room while standing in the midst of the disaster. Therefore, those who design and plan, the architects and engineers need to construct such buildings and cities and that even when the entire environment is completely flooded. That is a challenge and this podcast will give the answers. Flood Protection Secrets, the podcast by Dr. Flood, Andreas Klippe. Hello listeners, I'm Andreas Klippe. In the last episode of this short series, I talked about a hydrological study. Let us just summarize what it was and what it is about and how can it help you. I want to take you on the journey of Michael Thompson and he works in a manufacturing company. The site has a size of about 46,000 square meters, pretty big, huh? and is located in the south of Metro Manila in the Philippines. So they produce electronic components inside and these parts are used in the car industry. So employee Michael Thompson received an instruction from his boss. Hey, Michael, find a solution for flood protection. We need to protect our premises, our company, our jobs. Because of these 25 typhoons hitting the country every year and all this heavy rain. So Michael's challenge begins with an urgent assignment to develop a flood protection plan for the company he works for in the rainy region of Manila. So with heavy rainfall, a constant threat, solid, effective solution is urgently needed. And um, the insurance company is also pushing for it. But as I've said already, it's not just about the insurance company. It is about the safety of the company itself, about keeping the business running, about, yeah, I mentioned that already, keeping the jobs of all employees, including the management and be safe. So Michael began, began his journey with a hydrological study. I described that uh, in the last uh, episode of this um, Flood Protection Secrets podcast. And uh, he wanted to know how high the flood risk was. So the, the hydrological study, just again, is not just a preparatory step, but it's a cornerstone of flood protection planning. Uh, it involves analyzing precipitation patterns, water flow, topography, and more, and slopes. Uh, that is a part of the topography. And we explore why understanding these elements is critical to developing a customized flood protection strategy. So several critical aspects were analyzed uh, in this hydrological study. Uh, water cycle analysis, terrain and topography, topography study, precipitation and runoff data, water balance equa equation, flood frequency analysis and hydrologic modeling. I please don't run away. It sounds very scientific. Yes, I know. But um, that is what the hydrological study is doing, including all the weather data from the past. And uh, yeah, that's what I mentioned. Um, don't look to the past. past of, co uh, of course, you should analyze it, uh, but uh, the future will be different. So that means um, you must create your own future. And that is why this series goes on. It doesn't stop after, after the, um, the hydrological study. So uh, beyond the basics lays the engineering assessment. And this uh, episode is about the engineering assessment today. So once the hydrological data is available, the next critical phase is this engineering assessment. Yeah, and uh, what exactly is the engineering assessment for flood protection? 
So um, an engineer assessment for a flood protection facility is a yeah, valuable ad addition to an overall plan for a flood protection project for a site. So whether it is for commercial purposes, government or public facilities or private property. Uh, in this case, we talk about Michael's company, um, which produces uh, electronic parts for the car industry. Yeah? So the engineering assessment describes the nece necessary steps and optimal investments to protect your facility from heavy rain and flooding in your area. This engineering service checks all details such as dimensions, materials of the structures to be protected, um, walls, posts, doors, existing doors, and all possible data required for the smooth installation of flood protection technology. And the aim of this engineering assessment is to find a solution that minimizes your investment while maximizing protection and safety in every respect. Minimizes your investment and maximizing the protection and safety. That is something what sometimes people forget. And uh, I can only hope that uh, you are not, not like them. Because um, at the end, you should be protected. That's it. Yes, you should not uh, waste your money, but it should be invested in a, in a wise uh, matter. And that is why, what these, um, these episodes are about, to help you to reduce your, your uh, budget, what you need for this uh, flood protection. So at this stage, it is not yet possible to offer a precise and specific flood protection solution and budget, as factors such as the feasibility of the construction works, and additional engineering and the type of flood protection systems suitable for the site are still missing. You don't know all these things. So why do you ask your purchasing department to buy some flood barriers, for instance? That is what we get. We get these inquiries and then the people are wondering that suddenly everything is completely different. And later it is more expensive. So these missing factors lead to the following questions. How much and to what extent can and should your landscape, buildings, power lines, pipelines, sidewalks and facades be changed? And question number two, which is the right flood protection technology that best suits your, uh, suit, suits, uh, your requirements? Which is the right flood protection technology? You think it's a, it's a stackable aluminum beam? Perhaps, but perhaps not. We, we offer, I, always pro, uh, I always announce the top 14 um, flood protection barriers in the world. So the question is, why should it be barrier number three and not number seven that fits best for you? So how much will everything cost, not only the flood barriers, but also the ensuing civil works and other accessories like additional or modified drainages and pumps? Did you consider all the civil works and what kind of civil works uh, or in which extent? If you find the right flood experts, they, they will work with your team to consider your objections and requirements, reflect on these issues and present the answers. The hydro, hydro, hydrology um, uh, study will not give these answers. They only tell you that you are sick and you, mi you might get sick again. Yeah, that was the example from the previous episode when I talked, when you when I said this, uh, gave you this example with you. You spend time in front of the aircon. Uh, the next day you started sneezing and coughing, and then you you went to a nurse and she told you, "Oh, you get sick. Uh, you 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 are sick. You have a cough. You have a cold, and you better stay at home and uh, you better go to a doctor." Uh, does it help you? So you go to the doctor at least, uh, and then uh, the doctor will investigate what you have and um, and will not answer to your question. Hey, doctor, how much is it? What's the price? He will neglect what you say <laughs> because it's it, it doesn't fit at all. And, and then he will uh, start investigating your body, your body temperature, the breath, uh, uh, take his stethoscope, look to your lungs and, and uh, you open the mouth and do this. Ah, and then he will... He will check whether everything is looking good or not, and then you will get your your um, uh, your recipe. And with a recipe, you go to the pharmacy, and at the pharmacy, you get your medicaments, and then you take the medicaments and you heal your body. That's the way. And why should it be different when it comes to flood protection? Because that is a fundamental part of construction for the safety of your company. So the your body 
is um, is is uh, are the premises of the of the company or the other way around. The premises and the buildings of the compound of the company corresponds to your body, and the threat, the the flu and the sickness, um, what you have, so flu and cold and cough, that corresponds to the heavy rain and the flooding. And now you need the medicaments at the pharmacy and. Um, Uh, that will come later. So we are still at the doctor's stage that is corresponding to the engineering assessment. The engineering assessment will tell you what to do in the future and how to heal uh, your body, how to protect the company against the da damage of flooding. So once again, if you find the right flood experts, experts they will work with your team to consider um, what you need and uh, that, will, that will lead to the following three results. Result number one, all construction work required to solve the flood-related problems of your location will be identified. So you will definitely know, know what kind of construction is ongoing and for how long and will it disturb my activities, my operation. Uh, um, will these guys block my, my gates and that nobody can, can get in and can get out? Uh, because you have trucks. Uh, that means sometimes... The decision for which flood protection system you take is related to the, to the scope of civil works. And the purchasing department can never answer to this question. They will always go for the cheapest solution and the cheapest solution might take the longest time for the installation and will block the whole operation of your company. So that is why you, you will need this engineering assessment to answer to this question. So result number two, overall investment plan with maximum three optional recommendations of the most effective flood protection uh, um, uh, um, is proposed. So what does it mean, an overall investment plan with maximum three optional recommendations? What you need to know, and Michael Thompson in this case for his general manager needs to know, okay, um, how much do we have to invest at the end of the day? Because it's always a question of money. Uh, and... Um, And um, a good engineering assessment will give you at least three optional recommendations. I don't say at, at least maximum three. Huh? That's enough. Sometimes you only need one solution because there is no other solution or you know already um, that that's the one uh, that, that fits best. So why, why, spending, why, why you should spend time for a second or third option um, what, what, what is out of imagination. So then you stay with one. That is why I say maximum three because sometimes... Uh, especially when it comes to several uh, buildings, um, several gates, uh, basements, and so on and so forth, and uh, dr complicated drainage uh, situations, then uh, options come in and uh, might be uh, might be considered. So, um, and then result number three, you will get a necessary budget detail, and now and and, and the construction planning department receives reliable investment figures. That means now you can start thinking about which solution do you prefer out of these three. Yeah? And these results will enable you to reduce your investment costs and avoid wrong decisions. So Michael's me method uh, um, um, method methodical, yes, methodical, methodical, what is it? His approach, <laughs> sometimes it's really complicated. What kind of word is that? Is, um, Michael's approach, uh, um, starting with part one, a uh, hydrological study illustrates the importance of, of a sound scien yeah, scientific basis for flood protection. And part two, this part was the engineering assessment of flood protection, which provided him with three options, maximum three options, for possible flood protection scenarios with the expected construction work and costs for appropriate financial planning. And part three in our next episode will be the detailed planning and we'll see how that works yeah, in the next epi episode. But before I end this one, uh, there's always a small golden nugget. And yeah, just let me summarize it like that. This golden nugget for you, the piece of gold. So, for some it is diamond, diamond butter. I don't distribute diamonds, I distribute golden nuggets. So 
Remember that the first step to protecting your premises is not to buy barriers, but to understand your individual flood risks through an engineering assessment, including a hydrological study, followed by detailed planning. And this is a blueprint for your flood protection strategy. If Michael's story has inspired you to rethink your approach to flood protection, stay tuned for more episodes like this. And don't forget to subscribe for more insights from the world of flood protection. For personal guidance, reach out to us or to Andreas Klippel. That's me. <laughs> stay safe and flood free. Don't miss the next episode. I wish and hope for you that you make the right decisions when it comes to your personal flood protection. And if you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe to this podcast channel if you haven't already. Now it only remains for me to wish you a good day. Do something with it. Maybe until the next podcast episode, I would be very happy. See you then. As always, stay safe and flood free. Your Andreas Klippe and the whole Flood Experts team. it again with a new episode of Flood Protection Secrets, the podcast by Dr. Flood, Andreas Klippi, German engineer, book author, and head of the Flood Experts. What can Dr. Flood, Andreas Klippi, protect for you? Anytime? Worldwide? Contact us or just click through to www.thefloodexperts.de slash bonus. Detailed engineering. German quality. Safe. Flood protection secrets. The secrets you'll want to unfold. Don't forget, you're only one flood barrier away. Subscribe to the season and you'll never be late for an episode. <laughs>